Hello, my name is Kristen Chu and I am the lab manager at the UCLA Brain and Body Lab. Today I will be sharing a project titled The Role of Parent-Child Interaction in Emotional Processing, Alexithymia, and Mental Health. Alexithymia, a personality trait characterized by difficulty identifying and describing feelings, is associated with the impairment of emotion regulation and the symptoms of internalizing psychopathology in children and adolescents. However, Studies have found that more maternal care was associated with less difficulty describing feelings in children and that greater use of positive emotion in parent-child interactions was associated with less difficulty communicating emotions at college age. Additionally, parent socialization of emotion, for example, parent expressed positive affect, has been shown to play a significant role in improving youth emotion communication as well as protecting against youth internalizing psychopathology. Thus, parent-child interactions may be important when considering child emotional processing. It is unknown whether parent-expressed positive affect in parent-child interaction moderates the association between child alexithymia and child internalizing symptoms. Our three aims of this study were to, one, determine if alexithymia symptoms are associated with internalizing symptoms in a community population of youth, two, identify whether parent express positive emotions in a behavioral measure of parent-child interactions are associated with lower alexithymia in youth, and three, establish if parent express positive emotion in dyadic interactions moderate the association between child alexithymia and internalizing symptoms. This study includes a subset of children and adolescents aged 6 to 16 from data collected as a part of a larger study. AIM-1 has a sample size of 84 children and adolescents, while AIM-2 and AIM-3 have a sample size of 79 children and adolescents. We took some quantitative measures of child alexithymia and internalizing symptoms through the Child Self-Reported Alexithymia Questionnaire and the Parent Proxy Reported Internalizing Symptoms subset of the Child Behavior Checklist. We also recorded videos of dyadic interactions where parents and children were asked to pick a pleasant event to plan out together. These videos were coded using the Validated Family Interaction Macro Coding System, also known as FIMS. Dyadic interactions were specifically coded for frequency and intensity of caregiver expressed positive emotions. For our primary analysis, we ran multiple regression predicting child internalizing symptoms from child alexithymia scores, controlling for child age and sex. We also ran multiple regression predicting child alexithymia from parent expressed positive emotion scores in dyadic interactions, also controlling for child age and child sex. We also conducted an exploratory moderation analysis, examining the interaction between parent expressed positive emotion scores in parent child interactions and child alexithymia in predicting child internalizing symptoms. In this preliminary analysis, we saw that there was a trending positive association between child alexithymia and child internalizing symptoms within a community sample of youth, if you look at the top figure in AIM-1. The association between parent expressed positive affect and alexithymia was negative, so more positive affect was associated with less alexithymia, which was the direction we expected, but the association is not significant in this preliminary analysis, as seen in AIM-2. However, when we did a median split of the alexithymia data to graph the moderation down in graph 3, here, it is clear that there was less variability in parent expressed positive affect in the low alexithymia group and that there was also a lower average of parent expressed positive affect in the high alexithymia group relative to the low alexithymia group. Finally, we did test whether parent expressed positive affect moderated the association between child alexithymia and internalizing symptoms, and this was not significant. Future analyses will examine if other parenting behaviors are associated with child alexithymia. Utilizing data-driven approaches, I plan to run an exploratory factor analysis on other dyadic data and look at factors emerging from the dyadic interaction observational codes to see how other parenting factors may associate with alexithymia. Furthermore, we will assess these same associations associations in a population of youth exposed to early life adversity and who do score higher on internalizing symptom measures. This research will help to uncover factors associated with lower alexithymia and inform interventions aimed at improving youth mental health outcomes. Thank you so much for your time.